Hey y'all, let's check out Pemberley. Hey y'all, welcome to day 21 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're at Pemberley. This is a beautiful forest themed Sam. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check, and then we can continue. So for this outfit, I just really wanted to go with something that was going to be appropriate if I was walking in the woods in real life. I don't do that, but if I was, this is something that I would think would be appropriate. So we got gold accessories today and a little necklace on. And nothing really on the hands as far as jewelry, just a watch and then my little belt bag and then we'll go ahead and get a little shoe action just some really cute airy light sneakers because i know i'm going to be walking for a while so this is the outfit so let's go ahead and continue so this land is not tp friendly but it is a moderate sim so if you wanted to bring the kitties along you definitely could this land does have a very romantic feel to it um, however, when I panned out, it looked like it's going to be more walky than anything, but we shall see. Sometimes the trees will, look at this pretty swan, oh and the babies. Sometimes the trees will mask like little destinations and things like that, like little hangout spots. But when I panned out, it just, it looked like a bunch of trees. So I love the feel here. It feels very rustic, um, almost like an old English type vibe to it. And I really do like that. I love when the lands are like full of flowers. It's just like a breezy metal type feel. And sometimes they'll have like little treasures. So like we see here, they have the little sheep and things like that. So I do like this because of course when I panned out, I didn't see things like this. So it definitely lets me know that there's a good chance that they're going to be like some nice little goodies along the way. I love things like this where they kind of just make what's already on the land make sense it's like okay you see bees and it's like okay well these are where the bees come from because we have the honeycombs and all of the like the bee things to as far as like if you were like a beekeeper just little things like that to just add to the space to make it more realistic the sheep definitely give me like that country type vibe it just it feels so springtime fresh it's almost like you can smell the flowers and the freshly cut grass and things like that and i really really like that feel so they have this really nice swing over here can we get on the swing does it have animations yes and it has couple poses as well so this is super cute and it does have a couple um, options. So if you wanted to like come and take some pictures, I love these beautiful little roses that are on the swing um, rope. Super cute, very dainty, very, very nice for pictures, absolutely. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am in shared environment. So I was super duper happy about how nice the shared environment was for this land. Because when you guys come to view the land, this is exactly what the land is going to look like for you. Now I did see a house over here. I don't know if this is a pre-decorated house or if this is like someone's home. If it gives me a notice, then I'll know it's someone's home because I do know that from time to time they do do pre-decorated homes. And this is one of the pre-decorated houses, I love it. I love the pre-decorated homes because they always kind of give you a little bit of insight, not a little bit, they give you a lot of insight as to um, the date as far as the theme of the land. So you can see like from the appliances and things like that, this is a land that is set like back in the day, back when um, they had like a lot of wood burning stoves and things like that. So the pre-decorated houses for me, they always just help me to better understand um, the time period that the land is set in. 
This is very pretty. It looks like some rose tea. Yummy breakfast. You guys know I love the food in Second Life. It's always so pretty. So well um, made. They have some peaches. They look so yummy and ripe and sweet. I love it. The little basket of bread. So let's see what else they have. What's this? I try not to get carried away when I see a kitchen because you guys know. I, I love some pretty food in Second Life and they never, ever, they never disappoint. So this looks like some kebabs that are being prepped to be cooked. Super yummy. So let's see what else. I'm not mad at the doors, the transparent doors. Um, if they were automatic, that would be fine as well. But I do like um, when I don't have to go through like clicking a lot when I'm showing you guys the land. I hit the mic on accident, y'all. I hope it didn't sound crazy. So they have this pretty piano with all the little decorations. I'm trying a different um, recording setup. So I'm just... I kind of felt like the mic was too close to the keyboard and then I just hit the mic so it's giving yeah I'm not gonna go upstairs because I want you guys to check upstairs out on your own you know you know I like to leave a little something something for y'all to come and view on your own so this is very pretty I love all of the scenery I love how it's like surrounded by water and then it has like a little bike for you to use your bike to kind of get around because this is not necessarily a land where, well, it's not a land that you would drive around realistically. This is a land that you would kind of have to bike around to get to where you wanted to go. There aren't really any roads. Everything is just kind of, it's a path. All of the trees and the flowers, they give such a fresh floral feel into this space. It definitely has like a countryside type vibe or almost like a forgotten Greenland where it's like, it's a small, small town where just a few people live and it's mostly just like inhabited by animals and just beautiful flowers and things like that. Like it feels very um, secluded and private. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this space love it love it love it so they have plenty of spaces to come and just like hang out and just to really just like enjoy yourself i love all of the flowers that they put in here as well the beautiful lavender and just all of the little added details that just make this space look so special this space has a really nice victorian feel to it i love the furniture that's in this space the role play and picture options for this space are really really endless especially if you um are in second life and you do like um more of a victorian themed role play this would be a really nice spot to come and take pictures for like just to have like a little tea party set up or something like that i think this is super nice i love all of the decorations how they put everything together the pictures go with the space as well i love it this is a really nice like a drink bar like a little martini kit bar so pretty look how pretty those lemons look uh I love this look at the little treats oh I love this the little raspberries they have the little is this yogurt or are these drinks oh pop these are little cans of pop this is so pretty I, lo I love how they mix like the wicker items with the more um, dated Victorian items. It goes because they both kind of have like that dated feel to them. I love these little tarts. And then the little cookies. Or was that like biscuits and jam? Super nice. I love how they use like the tea um, 
They use like the little tea canister. It's like a little cranberry plant holder. I really love it. Look at the details in the chairs, the little doggies. I love, love, love this space. This is a really nice, pleasant surprise in this space because it's such a small space. I wouldn't have thought they would have been able to get all of this in here. But you guys know, I don't know if I um, told you guys, but this is a nature collective land. So when I tell you guys, every time I see lands in Second Life that are like really, really beautiful and just everything is done up just extra, extra nice, I always tend to find out that they are part of the Nature Collective um, designs or the Nature Collective lands and it just, it makes sense. It just makes sense. They always, I'm not going to say always, but every land that I've been on, so I'm going to say Every nature collective land that I've been on, they're always like super beautiful, super detailed, super specific to the time, and everything is like on brand. Like it, there aren't any parts where it's like, well, that wasn't there during that time period. They are all, everything goes together. Very, very cohesive lands. They make their lands very, very cohesive, in my opinion. I love the little mushrooms on the trees. You definitely will find that like in more humid type spaces. This a little fox over here hiding. Super cute little fox. Just kind of chilling. He said, I'm out of my own business and you found me. I didn't want to be found. My bad. So you do kind of have to wander around to find different things um, on this land. Nothing is really clear cut. It is one of those things where this land is um, a walkie type land. So you're going to find yourself um, just coming across things um, as opposed to having things in like specific spaces like they don't have like um a lot of signage to let you know like what's over here or what's over there you kind of just have to like walk and find it and i like that i feel like that's a good tactic to get people to explore the lands if you are in second life or on second life then you know that a lot of times people really don't venture around that much when it comes to some of these lands it's like if they don't have a guide for it they're not very interested in looking around the land you'll also find that like if you go to clubs wherever people um, get a tp to land they tend to just kind of like stay in that spot like you'll go to clubs and you'll see a bunch of people in one spot because people just they don't for whatever reason i don't know if they like do a lot of panning around instead of walking around on the lands but they will um spend a lot of time just like in one spot so the way that they did this land is they made it so that you have to venture around and you have to find things and one good way that they did this was that when you pan out it's not, you don't really see everything that's going on on the land. So you really have to walk around this land. If you just went off of what you saw when you panned out, you would probably think that it was just a bunch of trees here. And although there is plenty of greenery, they have a lot of little treasures like this um, within um, the spaces on the land. So it definitely doesn't give you a clear outlook, which which I really do like. They don't give you a clear outlook on what's on the land when you pan out. It just really lets you know the size of the land, which is something that I like because it gives me the opportunity to be able to fully um, explore the lands with you guys and not really see what they have to offer. So... When I see these spaces, I am just as intrigued and excited um, with you guys because it's my first time seeing these spaces as well. I love this little seating area out here by the little fountain. I just think this is so pretty. It's just so dainty looking. I love how they have like the water going all the way down. And what's in here? Oh, is this like a little cafe? Okay. How pretty is this? I love the little trash cans. Super pretty. I love how they have the beautiful views. Like when you're on the inside, the views are so, so pretty. 
because you get to see the fountain and then you get to have all the beautiful view get your little coffee and cookies or tea and cookies however you want it they have this beautiful this like a cafe or bakery it's a little bit of both it's a little bit of both they have so many different pastries look at this we're about to look around all of this y'all already know we're about to look around all of this this really pretty coffee machine i love it i absolutely love it this really nice delicious looking chicken ranch salad packaged so nicely i'm telling you second life when they do their food they, they'll make you hungry in real life because they do the food so well the food that they make looks so realistic it always looks super yummy just so appealing and so aesthetically pleasing and i feel like that's one of the things that i love the most is how aesthetically pleasing um the food looks like i don't even like this in real life but it looks so super yummy in second life i love all of this just all of the little added small little details like the little pods in the back for the teas and the coffees and the little boards for the cooking and the little jars for the different teas and things like that i love all of the little added touches that make the space feel so realistic those things really really matter um when you are creating things in second life people well i know i do i look for the realism of it i look for things that just make it be like yeah you know that is something that i've actually seen in a um in a cafe before these little pumps for the little flavorings and things like that i really really love this they got the little blender for the little smoothies or whatever you will want with the fresh strawberries ready to go all the different teas i love this space i love it love it love it all the pastries about to look at all the pastries you guys listen y'all know you, you should know by now if you're new to this channel welcome 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 but this is what i do because we are we are exploring this together this is my first time seeing this and I, I i love a good smorgasbord of food i love it look at how pretty that is with the mozzarella and tomatoes or is that like feta with the salads look at the sandwiches look so nice the little parfaits with the fruit the avocado that salad looks really really good I love this. I love all the colors. I don't know what I'm drawn to more. If it's just like the color or just like the specific desserts that they decide to show in Second Life. Because they pick some of the best desserts. The yummy, yummy, sticky cinnamon rolls. Just everything is so festive. I love the coloring. I just love it all. Look at how pretty this is with the little strawberry. I love things like this. They have like beautiful macaroons. This is one of my favorite flavored macaroons. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. They just really make everything so aesthetically pleasing. It's like when they make things like this, it makes you want to stay and role play in these spaces the beautiful like apple turnover or what kind of cake is that like a apple topping on the cake the little kiwis with the berries the biscoff little snacks i love this i absolutely love this y'all know every single time oh, it's a bakery shop or is this the bakery part and then it's like a cafe slash bakery i don't know the beautiful tart the fruit tart looks delicious oh i love it all i absolutely love it all i always love the spaces like this they're always so so fun and so beautiful i love this little common sitting area so like if you don't want to have to sit at the little individual tables you could come sit here and just kind of vibe out hang your coat up and just really relax they have the windows open so you get a really nice um springtime breeze i really really like this space i love the lands where 
you're not going to get bored walking around. It makes you want to walk around. It makes you want to explore because around like every little corner, there's going to be something nice to look at. There's going to be another photo opportunity, um, another place to like sit and just kind of vibe out. Um, they don't have an, an, uh, an abundance of sitting spaces, but I feel like that's because this land is meant to be explored. And so it's not necessarily a place for you to just have a bunch of places to sit. There are lands that um, they landscape that way. But this, to me, is more of a explorative type land. So it's like you have places to sit every now and again. But for the most part, it's meant to be walked around and enjoyed in that manner. And I really, really love it. I love that little bucket with the little leaf in it. I love stuff like this when I tell you it just gets me so excited to just see how pretty the place is just look at all the little birdies and things like that I love it I absolutely love it so pretty I've had this place in my landmarks for a while there was another place that I wanted to visit and then I checked and you guys it's gone very very upset about that um because that was one of the places that i really did want to show you guys but a lot of times with these lands you really have to get it while the getting is good because the lands for the most part many of the lands they are not um long-term lands they're just kind of here for a little bit of a season and then they are gone and then somebody else will occupy that land and create something beautiful on it that hopefully they they will allow us to look at but it's gone i'm kind of hoping that maybe they were just like restarting the land and so that's the reason why i couldn't get over there but i tried twice and i couldn't get over there so that was kind of a bummer this is so pretty they really did a good job on creating their shared environment. It's a really nice environment. I love all the little statues as you walk around. You'll see like another statue that you didn't see before. This one is so lovey-dovey and romantic. I love the sunbeams. How pretty. This is a nice land to just kind of like get dressed up and go and look around to take pictures. So y'all, I had such an amazing time looking around Pemberley with you all, as always. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this place. There's still so many more spaces to view and explore at Pemberley. So make sure you guys check them out. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.